Hello everyone in the business law lecture. Today we are going to learn contract of bailment. Before starting with the contract of bailment, we have to understand the meaning and definition of bailment. The contract of bailment is a special type of contract. Here, the Indian Contract Act, which contains the legal provisions to these contracts, does not deal with all the types of bailment. The Act only deals with the general principles. However, there are separate Acts which deals with the specific kinds of bailment, like the Railways Act 1889, the Carriage of Goods by Sea Act 1925. So let us understand the definition which is given under section 148. Bailment is the delivery of goods from one person to another for some purpose upon a contract that they shall when the purpose is accomplished be returned or otherwise disposed of according to the direction of the persons delivering them. This is very easy type of contract as I told you in daily basis we enter into this contract of bailment but we don't know that this is contract of bailment. Let us understand these examples. Just see this picture. In the first picture a person is giving his car for servicing and in the second picture a person is giving his watch for repair. Now in an easy way we will understand what is bailment. So just apply this definition on these examples. What's the first line of the definition says? Delivery of the goods from one person to another. For some purpose. Now in this picture we can see that. In the first picture a person is giving his car for servicing. And in the second picture a person is giving his watch for repairing. And as soon as the purpose is got over that goods should be written to the person who has delivered or it can be disposed of according to the instructions of that person. Now from this definition we are getting all these essential elements of contract of bailment. These essential elements are also called as the features and characteristics of contract of bailment. So let us understand one by one all. First is parties. As all of you know from the definition we can make out there are two parties which are required for contract of bailment. Second agreement. Third return of goods. Fourth purpose. Fifth transfer of position. Sixth no transfer of ownership and the last one is delivery of goods. Let us understand one by one all the essential elements parties so in contract of bailment two parties are required which is called as a bailer and baby so let us understand to whom we call as a bailer and to whom we call as a baby so bailer means the person who is delivering the goods and bailey is the person to whom the goods are delivered and here one important thing you all have to understand Goods which are referred under this contract of bailment means only the movables. Second essential element is agreement. So in contract of bailment there has to be agreement between the bailer and bail. Here the agreement may be express or it may be implied. As all of you already know that express means it can be either oral or in writing. And implied means which is inferred from the circumstances. Just see this example. A gives his car to be for servicing. So this is the express contract of bailment between A and B. And in the second example, A's ornaments were stolen. The police recovered it and kept it in its custody till the identification and proof of ownership. While it was in the police custody, the ornaments got stolen. So it was held that there was an implied contract of bailment between A and police department. So from this example we can understand 
how this agreement may be implied one third essential element is the return of goods as we know that in the contract of bailment there is only temporary transfer of possession from bailer to bail so therefore the goods must be returned or disposed of according to the instructions of the bailer at the end of the bailment fourth essential element is purpose so here in the contract of bailment the possession of the goods must be transferred for some purpose the purpose may be expressly stated or it may be implied also now express means what we know either oral or in writing implied means which is inferred from the conduct action or circumstances so here in this example if a person is depositing luggage in the railway clock room it implies that he is delivering it for safe custody fifth essential elements is effecting transfer of possession so from the definition it is clear that in bailment there is only possession is transferred it means the physical custody of the goods is transferred from bailer to bailee in order to understand this point clearly we just uh, make a difference between the contract of bailment and the other type of contract that is contract of sale of goods as we know that in the last lecture we studied the contract of sale in which the possession and ownership both are transferred from seller to the buyer but here in bailment there is only transfer of possession from bailer to bailee sixth essential element is transfer of ownership as we just understood in bailment there is only transfer of possession and there is no transfer of ownership because though the goods are delivered to the bailee but the bailer continues to be the owner of that goods here in this example the scooter is given for servicing the scooter is with the bailee but the bailee is still the owner of that the last essential of contract of bailment is delivery of the goods so in bailment the delivery of the goods must be voluntary from bailer to bailee this delivery may be actual or it may be constructive when the goods are physically handed over to the bailee that is the actually delivery of the goods like if you are giving a watch to repair or if you are giving a cloth to a tailor for making into the suit so here actually you are giving this watch as well as you are giving this cloth to a tailor and this delivery may be constructive when one does something which has the effect of putting the goods in the position of the bailee let us understand this example a person pledged cinema projector with the bank but the bank allowed him to keep the projector so as to keep the cinema hall functional so here it is a constructive delivery of the goods to the bank so up to this we studied all the essential elements of contract of bailment in case if you have any doubt you can ask me on my email id you can mail me directly and ask me okay so i hope all of you understood all these essential elements thank you very much